Hi everyone, welcome to another Halloween-ish magical um, tutorial from Rims of Wonder. This is the third little item from this page of um, assorted wizarding items and we have this crystal ball. Now, it's quite a challenge, isn't it? We've got a glass globe, but we've got things inside. We've got the stand and the little fabric cloth it is on. Now I want to colour coordinate between the colours I do with the ball and the colours of the little cloth it's on. Um, so that's one thing I've thought of. I'm going to actually start with the little stand. Now I think it might be rather nice to be silver. It could be wooden, but I'm, I've decided that I'm going to do it in silver. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to sharpen the pencil. I'm going to use the cold grey 4 from the Polychromos for this. I may use a dark tone as well, but we'll see. You'll have to believe me, it's a very little pencil. I think, no, you can't even make out the 4. You might be able to see the number, but the light is bad in here at the minute. Um, I've had to close my blind because the sun is shining really brightly. Now, these bits here these little upside down V's, I think that would be a bit that was set back and therefore darker and this bit in front would be a bit lighter. So I'm going to do that bit first and put down quite a few layers where, where my pencil is really nice and sharp it can push down into the tooth of the paper and uh, get that very intense. Then we'll do this piece. This is for me easy-ish. So we put quite a lot of colour there, lots of layers, you see I'm going up and down and then here we're, we're starting to do less and less and less as we go and at here I start to even reduce the pressure on the pencil a bit so it goes really light. We do the same on this side and bring it across so we've got a little bit in the middle that's white so it looks like we've got a silvery shine. Now I think this piece under here is going to be creating a small amount of shadow on that piece below. So all we need to do is go almost on top of the black line that's there, just slightly below, and just put in a little shadow line. It's not that easy, I think I haven't done it that well, but that was my intention. I, what I tell you, I tell you what I intend to do. Don't always demonstrate it perfectly. None of us are perfect. So under here, we could do this in a different colour. I think I'll do the legs. I want to do them in this silvery colour. Um, what I'm going to do, they're, they're thin, I know, but I'm going to put, whoops, snap the end of my pencil off. Don't You don't have to do that. <laughs> going to go around the edge with a harder layer and try and leave a white shine line in the middle. And this will make the legs look like they're more rounded. Because my imagining is that the leg is a round thing. I'm like this stickles jar is round. Look at that. Glitter, glitter. Um, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Inside the crystal ball, lots of glitter. Um, we're not doing glitter today, though. I don't know why. I'm not, I'm not in the mood for putting glitter on this page. It's weird. There's no reason. Now, if you look here... That one is much darker than that one. So this one looks like it's got quite a lot of white shine and this one looks like it hasn't got very much. That wasn't really my intention. I'm actually going to get my eraser and try and erase just a tad. I think actually this one might be better. This is my um, Faber-Castell one. I've got a little eraser on the end here. Might be a bit better for that. That's made a little bit of a difference. I'm okay with that. So, do I do this bit? Yeah, I'm going to do this bit in silver as well. I'm going to do it like I did this piece to start with. So, intense here, lots of lots of layers. And then as we go towards the middle, less. Leave it. Same here, quite a few here. And then less as we go towards the middle. However, we have this pattern on here. Can you see these lines? And what I'm thinking is each of these smaller bits, I want them to look like they're set in a bit. So I'm going to colour them a little bit darker than the colour that I've coloured the bits either side. But this bit here, in the centre, there's not a lot of um, colour, so it's not going to be as dark as this one here, which I will have to lay up 
layer up quite a bit. I don't know if that's done what I wanted, but it looks interesting. Um, <laughs> it doesn't look how I imagined. I wanted it to look like it was set in and that the dark colour was shadow. It hasn't achieved that. I'm going to try a bit harder though. Let's try using some black. You don't have to do this and you may decide you don't want to. I'm just going to go over those in a bit of black. Now I'm layering up more on those outside ones that I want to be a bit darker than I am on these and only a little bit on the centre one. It's still not really done what I wanted but it does look interesting. I'm happy. It's just not what I wanted to achieve. Now what I've decided is we're going to do a little bit of a galaxy sky inside the crystal ball with some different colours coming out of these lines and then on the cloth we're going to match those colours but in different shade, tone, I don't know the right word, darker. <laughs> this is going to be lighter and this is going to be darker. Okay, so I'm going to pick three colours. Now I was asked actually by someone just this morning um, what colours I used for my sky in my Johanna's Christmas book on my gingerbread houses. If she's watching, she'll know exactly what she, what I mean. These were the three colours I used for the sky. I shall demonstrate my technique here. So let me talk. Don't don't panic. It's okay. I'll talk you through it all. I've, I've just shown you too many colours. So we're going to start with our light magenta. Oh, I think you might be able to read that just. Very hard to read, isn't it? I think I wish they'd just print it in black. I guess if they printed it in black on the black one, we'd be in trouble. So what I'm going to do is do a few patches of light magenta. If I was doing a sky on a huge page, like on the um, Johanna's Christmas, I'd make each patch about this big. But because we've got a teeny tiny thing, we're just going to do small patches. Now, this outside circle, I'm going to leave for now, which is glass. And I'm going to try, I say try, to make it look a bit shiny on that outside bit. So I'm not going to colour that in. So I'm going to colour from that inside circle. And what I did was I would do an intense bit like that. And then gently fade it out. I am going to ignore the stars on this, not the moon. But I'm going to um, colour over them in something dark so it doesn't matter. So there's our first one. We'll do the same here. So I think we'll put it quite dark here and then a bit lighter coming out from there. Like that. I'm actually not colouring over the star. You can if you want because we're going to do a different colour. And the same here. You can do these wherever you like. This will be my last one in this colour, I think. That's quite close to the other one, but it doesn't matter, it looks a little bit more natural if they're not completely evenly spread out. This colour is the, um, just checking because the name has been sharpened off, it's, it is the purple violet. Okay. And I'm going to put a bit next to here. Now what I want to do is I want them to blend here. So I need my intense bit to be somewhere in between the two and then blend it either side into the other colour. Like that. And I will do one here. So quite a dark bit, just like we did with the pink and then less around it, like that. And we'll do a bit here. Remembering to stay inside that line. It's not right, or if you do it wrong, it doesn't matter. Who's going to even know? Except for you. Don't judge yourself harshly. And our last colour is our sky blue. Obviously, you can tell, can't you? <laughs> I think it's t almost time for a new one. And we're going to do the same. So a darker, more intense bit here in between those two colours. And then sort of blend it in. Now when I did this for my Christmas book, Sky, I used a blending pencil to blend them. But I'm not sure I'm going to need that here. I'm just going to hopefully um, be able to blend it with these pencils. But there's nothing wrong with using a blending pencil. 
going to fill in all the gaps with this. We'll put quite a dark bit here. So to get a dark bit, I'm just putting more layers down. Maybe three, four layers. It doesn't necessarily need a dark bit if there's only a small space. Now I'm just going all around, filling in those gaps. Now, what you can do here, it depends on how bright you want it to be. You could go over that with a Prismacolor white pencil to blend it together. You could use a blender. Um, I think I am going to blend it. Um, what have I got here? What's that? That's a white pencil. Oh yeah, here, we, we'll use this. This is my Prismacolor blender. It's called Colourless. Okay, I'm just going to use that. Now you may not see much of a difference on camera with me doing this. And it does help to mush it together a bit. Now, with a dry pencil, a dry hard pencil like these, you're not going to get huge, massive movement of pencil around this really only probably burnishes it into the paper to be honest you need a pencil that moves on the page like a prisma to really take good advantage of your blending tools but I feel that's a little bit improved now what I'm going to do around the edge we've got these lines coming out I quite like this white area here to be left white I'm going to color in that in a circle so I'm going to start here and I'm going to do lines of these colours coming out at sort of regular intervals. Make the lines parallel with the lines Johanna's drawn just so that it sort of works and try and keep them roughly the same length. It doesn't matter that much. I try not to hit the uh, mushrooms above. Can't see them in shot. I've gone a bit high. There we go, hopefully you can see. Um, it doesn't matter how dark or light you go, do it to your own taste. So you try and keep that free. I have gone over the line a bit there, which I, wasn't what I wanted to do. I will erase that in a minute. So I'm just going to grab my eraser. Just erase that bit in there. I wanted that bit to stay white. My eraser is a bit short. To be careful with these um, Tombow, if the eraser gets too short, you can scratch your page with this metal bit. So be very careful. Um, now I'm going to grab the purple, um, the purple, what's it? Purple violet. And do some bits in between. I think I will keep this regular actually and do it to the same side of the pink ones all the way around. My gaps aren't even so I'm going to just try and fill half the gap and my heights aren't even either so I'm just being as close as I can. I think this is a really fun picture. Well it's a really fun whole page actually I think. And now we've got our sky blue. We're going to come in here. I think it looks quite pretty. Not sure how magical it looks, but I think it's fun. And I'm sure um, people will come up with some amazing ideas of doing a dark background and brightly bright white colours coming out, things like that. But, you know, I think this is quite fun too. Right, let's do that little bit inside the rim of the um, glass. Um, I'm just trying to work out how, how light to go. I think this may work. I want something that's going to show up but not dominate. So this is cold grey too. It may end up being a little bit too pale. There you go. I'm thinking I'm going to put quite a bit down here. Oh, I can see it. But fade it on each side. So I'm just fading it up here. A bit more, a little bit on the top. Not as dark as the bottom. I'm 
I'm sure I need maybe a white bit on the side just so it looks a bit like shiny glass. I don't know. Now I want a white bit around here because this paper isn't pure white. I'm not going to use the um, I'm going to use a white I've got here. That's a blender. That's not what I want. Oh. Um, I think I used my Prisma white. Whoops. So we used our Prisma blender. It's just a Prisma white. It shows up much better than a Polychromos white. But it may not show up very much at all. It may be almost undetectable. The fact that I'm going over the line of the edge of the crystal ball shows up more than the um, actual white paper being wind. I'm trying to put it down quite thickly. There. I know it's there. <laughs> you watch me put it there. Now I quite like the idea of that moon remaining white as well. So now the poly Chromos white does show up a little bit, but it's not, it has different properties to the Prisma white. Like the Prisma white could colour over the top of this and fade it. The Polychromos white is too see through for that to really have an impact. Now we've got our stars. Can't decide, I'm going to move on. Right, tablecloth. <laughs> move. I am going to. Hmm, Got a, we've got three, hang on, we've got three sections to our cloth, we've got this little round a bit, we've got this bit and the outside bit, and I'm thinking I can do three colours and do these three that we used. I fancy doing this bit in mauve here, I don't know why, it's just how I want to do it. So I'm doing it quite solid because I want this to be quite dark because I want it to look different to this purple violet. Now we need a blue. Mm, yeah, I think the cobalt blue will work quite well. And I'm going to use that for the outside edge. I wanted colours that look a similar tone to these so I wouldn't have used a sort of turquoise or phthalo blue and then that center bit I need a pink I think we should use the magenta because we've used the light magenta for the um, color for the pink we use the magenta and we'll pop it in here and I know we've still got to do the stars now we could do the stars, I think I don't want to introduce the gold for my stars because we've got all these cold colours so I think they need to be silver. I could do them in pencil, I've got a silver pencil, I think that's what I will do. Oh, doesn't want to catch the light or oh, go dark, that's the silver, you can't see it, sorry. The silver, the words on, oh, I'm doing the moon. I don't want to do that. Um, the, um, I'm sorry if you started copying me. That, that easily erased off the top of the white pencil. Um, the silver pencil, the print, is printed in gold. <laughs> like as it is on the other pencil, so it doesn't show up. So there are the stars all covered in silver. I'm going to do the dots in silver too. It means if you shine it towards the light, it will reflect the light. Now, a final touch you could do is to put a little bit of white on to try and make it look more glassy. I think we're going to try that with a pen. I've just got to find a pen first. What have I got here? I've got a jelly roll pen. I thought I had a Prisma uh, Posca, but I don't can't find it. Okay, and if we do, it's not going to show up very much because our colours are so pale. 
I want to avoid the stars and dots and things and just do it on the bits that I haven't got them on. It can be quite random, I find. I just want it to be thick enough to show. The problem is if you put too much on, you end up taking off what you've put on rather than adding a second layer. You need to really wait for it to dry, which I'm being very impatient and not doing. There. That's better. Now the key for this is to make it follow the shape of the glass circle as much as you can. There we are. That looks a little more shiny, I think. So that is our crystal ball. That was a lot of fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed that one. Having a well of a time on this page. Looking forward to doing more. But as I say, I'm going to do a few different... Um, Halloween-y type things and um, I will return and finish all this page so don't worry but um, it's uh, I'm trying to spread myself across a few different books um, so uh, you know so so in case you haven't got this book yet or in case you haven't aren't getting this book at all I know some people aren't and some people are some people might be get we're having to wait till Christmas things like that so we'll do a few other books as well but for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe um, if you haven't already. And happy colouring.